Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I am going to be telling you how to start your own store online using Squarespace.com. Now before we get into this video, if you want to pick up Squarespace for yourself, just go ahead and go down to the link in the description where you can pick up your own Squarespace plan at a special discount. All right, so let's get into the video. Now, the first thing I need to talk about is why you want an online store. There are a lot of different types of online stores, so I'm not going to be covering the specific aspects and details of setting up each specific type. What I am going to be doing, though, is telling you how to design the website for your online store, giving you tips on that, tricks on how to increase your sales and ROI, or return on investment, and helping you get started on your business basic store setup. All right, so let's get right into the tutorial. As you can see, I am right here on squarespace.com and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and hit create website. Now it's going to go ahead and pull up my templates where I can pick a starting point. As you can see, we can already choose the type to be an online store. So we're going to select that and then find a store which we like. If you have a specific topic you want, you can pick that as well, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to find a site that I think looks really nice like this one right here and go ahead and hit start. Now, once I hit start, it's going to go ahead and load up. It's going to take a little while to load, and then we're just going to go ahead and put the title in when it does load. So we're going to put the name of our store, and we can choose an example like Carson Sample. Then we're just going to go ahead and hit continue and just skip all of these steps. You can hit skip if you want, or you can go through them. They just tell you the basics of getting started on your website. From there, you're going to hit get started, and as you can see, we are right here already on my store. Now, it's already very nice, it looks really good, but we're going to have to obviously customize it for ourselves. So, if you notice when you're scrolling down your page, if you have like a sample contact form, this is one tip I want to give you, it will have a little red icon here that says it's a newsletter box. So, what it says is it needs this form, needs a storage option. You can double click here to edit this form and tell us where to save new subscribers to. So, on each form essentially that you add to your website, there will be a red border around it indicating that you need to set it up by double clicking on that red icon right there and then it's just going to load up and you can edit the form. So yeah, that's just one thing to keep in mind is that you will have to edit that form before you can actually receive any notifications or contacts from that form. Now that you know how to customize your forms, we're going to go ahead and hop right into customizing the main page, and then we can get to designing all the pages specifically. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit edit on this page right here. It's just going to pop up, and then I can edit anything I want. Now, as you can see, when I'm hovering over the section, the store section, there's a button that says manage items, and we're actually going to get to that in a minute. But first, I'm just going to show you how to edit and add sections. If you want to add a section, just hit add section, and then select your section from this list. If you want to remove a section, hover over, hit delete, and hit confirm. So from there, once you know how to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to edit your store. We're going to modify it because I'm not selling t-shirts. So let's go ahead and hover over here and hit manage items. From here, as you can see, it takes me directly to the shop area and the categories where I can manage all my items. What I do is if I hit the settings icon on the shop, I can manage categories by adding or removing as I need. As you can see, I can add or search a category right there. I can manage the SEO, I can manage the general, the social image, and the advanced. But what you're gonna wanna be focusing on is the category. So if you add any categories, I can add one. For example, by just typing here, let's say mice, computer mice, if I'm selling, I just type that in and then hit add. And as you can see, that has added a category. Now let's go ahead and close that because we're done with the categories. And now we're going to show you how to add an item. What you can do is just hit this plus icon right on the shop and then it tells you what you want to sell. You can pick physical, digital service or a gift card. It's incredibly easy. Honestly, look at this. You don't have to like go through all these add-ons and complex setup that WordPress has you do. Now, personally, I do use WordPress a lot as well, 
But if you're wanting for just ease of use and super simple, this is definitely a way to go. You just pick your good and then you can set it all up. So let's just go ahead and go with digital, for example. I'm going to walk you through it. You just add the product name, description, images, the file you actually want to sell, the pricing, if it's on sell or not, not. You can add it to a category. You can change the features of the product, edit the SEO or search engine optimization settings, and then customize it if you want by adding like custom forms, related products, a custom button, social accounts, or additional info. And then once you're done, you just hit done and save and publish. And that will be how you add your first item to your shop. Now, if you want to remove items, you just go into a category that you want to remove them from. Going to go ahead and select the three dots right next to the item and hit delete. And it's as simple as that. Once you delete it, it just removes it from the shop. And that's how you're going to edit your store, how you're going to set it up to publish. Now, if we go back to the home area, you can change a few different pages. Like, as you can see, we have multiple pages right now. We can go to the pages and edit them right here. So if I want to remove one, let's say I want to remove this one right here. I just going to go ahead and hit delete on it and then just hit confirm and it will remove the page. Then I, if I want to edit a page, I can click on that page and I can go ahead and hit the edit button right at the top left corner corner and it will let me edit the page and set it up as you can see right here so I can just modify by clicking and doing whatever I need if I need to edit the form I just click hit edit and then it will let me edit it and change the storage option and all that good stuff so then I just gonna hit cancel because I don't need to do that right now I just need to show you how to edit your site now going back to the home page I'm just gonna select it right here if you want to edit your page if you want to edit the header or footer what you're gonna do is hit edit and then hover over either the site header or the site footer respectively and hit edit site header or edit site footer from there it will pop into this custom editor for your site header where you can change all the looks and the theme and the style of that site header. Now, if you do want to publish it, once you're ready to publish it and you've edited all your pages and added or removed pages which you do need or don't need, you're just going to go back home, go right out here. We're going to go ahead and hit settings and then we're going to hit site availability and change that to public. Now, once you change your site availability to public, your website is up and ready to go and you're ready to start selling items on your website. It's really that simple. And honestly, Squarespace makes it super easy for people to get started selling items online. Now, obviously you need your payment account connected to your website as well in order to start receiving payments, but that's pretty much it. There's really nothing else you have to do. Squarespace is one of the easiest places to build an online store. One of the quickest ways as well. So I highly recommend it if you're getting started. And if you do want a special discount and to pick up your Squarespace plan today, just go ahead and head down to the description because I've left a link there where you can get a special discount when you're picking up your Squarespace plan. Well, thank you for watching. If you do have any questions for me, just drop them in the comments and I'll be sure to respond and explain in detail any answers to any questions you might have. That's going to do it for today though. Thank you for watching. Till next time and have a great day.